Ladies and gentlemen, gather around for a retail roller coaster that will have you laughing, crying, and wondering how on earth these businesses manage to get themselves into such a pickle. From big problems at big lots to party cities, not so festive farewell. Get ready for a wild ride through the retail apocalypse. So grab your popcorn. Put on your going out of business sale hat and get ready to laugh your way through the misfortunes of these retail giants that have been screwing us for years. It's time for us to get a little laugh out of this. This is basically a show where bankruptcies is a punchline and bye-bye becomes the new catchphrase. So buckle up, folks, because it's time to dive headfirst into the retail apocalypse like you've never seen before here we go number one big lots big lots more like big problems right this retailer offers everything under the sun from furniture to groceries to pest supplies but despite their massive range of products their sales are down 10 percent it's like they're saying Hey customers, we have it all except for profits. With plans to close all their urban stores, it seems like Big Lots is going from big to bye-bye lots. Looks like their prices aren't the only thing that's low. Their financial health is too. Number two is Rite Aid. Rite Aid is giving us a prescription for disappointment. They've been closing stores left and right, and it seems like they're not planning to stop anytime soon. Maybe they should just change their name to right away, because that's where their customers are going, away. With millions in losses and executives talking about closing even more stores in 2023, it's safe to say that Rite Aid is in a bit of a pill pickle. Number three, Bed Bath & Beyond. Calling all you coupon holders. Yes, you remember those? If you've been stockpiling those 20% off coupons from Bed Bath & Beyond, it's time to dig them out from underneath your mattress. The company is closing all of its stores and they're not accepting those beloved coupons anymore. It's like they're saying, thanks for your loyalty, but we're going out of business. Bad decisions by the management led to their demise and now they're having a going out of business sale that rivals toys r us or even circuit city so if you're an investor it's time to say bye bye to your shares too don't let the beyond fool you because there is no coming back from this one number four party city looks like the party is over for party city this party supplier Retailer is saying farewell to its longtime customers with soaring inflation and decline in personal celebrations. Party City has been struggling financially and now they're bankrupt and closing down all their stores. It's like they forgot to bring the balloons and confetti to their own going out of the business party sale. Party City future is looking more like a deflated balloon than a lively celebration they once had. Number five, Dollar General. Dollar General, or should we say Dollar Disappearing? This discount retailer is rapidly vanishing from cities across the U.S. And it's not just because people are finding better deals elsewhere. The U.S. Department of Labor, Safety, and Health Administration has been inspecting Dollar General's locations across the country and finding serious violations left and right. They've been fined millions of dollars for not prioritizing their safety of their workers. Looks like Dollar General needs a crash course in Safety 101 before they completely disappear from the retail scene. Number 6. Tuesday Morning It's a gloomy Tuesday morning for this retailer. After filing for bankruptcy, they're closing down a significant number of their stores. It seems like their foot traffic and in-person sales took a nosedive. This isn't the first rodeo either. They've had to file bankruptcy before. Looks like they're stuck in a cycle of close, reopen, close again. Tuesday morning might need to find a new day of the week to brighten up their business. Number 7. CVS. It's a cough, vomit, say goodbye situation for CVS. 
this pharmacy chain is closing a whopping 900 stores nationwide. It seems like they're not feeling so healthy and strong these days. Declining foot traffic, empty shelves, and rising competition are just a few of the ailments plaguing CVS. Maybe they should try a new prescription for success because their current strategy is leaving customers feeling a bit under the weather. Number 8. Amazon Go and Amazon Fresh Amazon Go and Amazon Fresh are not looking so fresh anymore. The retail giant is shuttering down numerous convenience stores and grocery shops. It turns out their cashier-less store weren't such a big hit. They retreated from this segment and focusing more on their Whole Foods stores. Looks like they bit off more than they could chew with their ambitious plans. Maybe they should stick to delivering packages instead of groceries. Number 9. Nordstrom Nordstrom is in hot water, or should we say retail apocalypse water. Moody's analysts have put them on their bankruptcy watch list. With their recent closure of operations in Canada and dozens of locations in the U.S., it's clear that sales have taken a nosedive. And whether another economic downturn looming, things are not looking nor strong for this department store. Looks like they'll need more than a fashionable makeover to survive. Number 10. Best Buy Best Buy, or maybe it's time to say bye-bye. This struggling electronics retailer has been slowly closing stores for years. Now, with over half their location in financial distress, it's clearly they're in trouble. Best Buy's CEO predicts a major manufacturing slowdown that could ripple through the market. Looks like they're running out of batteries and their power is fading fast. Can they find the right plug to keep their business alive? Who knows? Number 11. The Children's Place. The Children's Place is shrinking its footprint and it's not a growth spurt we're talking about. This apparel retailer plans to close 265 stores cutting their brick and mortar presence in half with declining net sales and permanent store closures it's pretty clear that the children's place is in a tough spot looks like their place in the retail market is becoming more like a disappearing act number 12 the corner bakery corner bakery more like corner bankruptcy this fast casual cafe chain is struggling with a broad menu of decreased foot traffic with a debt load of millions and a shaky financial strength they're hoping to find a buyer to save them from their financial troubles but considering the poor conditions the chances of survival are slim as their bagels it looks like corner bakery might be closing their doors for good number 13 Mattress Firm. Mattress Firm dreams are turning into nightmares. With a major mattress manufacturing plan to file for bankruptcy, Mattress Firm might be left without a major supplier. Retail analysts predict they're at serious risk of going out of business. It's like they're tossing and turning in their sleep. Unsure if they'll wake up to a profitable day or a bankruptcy filing. The mattress industry might need some extra support to bounce back. Number 14. Kirkland's. Kirkland's is a shaky position. It's not just because of their home decor. With decreasing revenues and profits, this retailer is facing major difficulties. Their fashion trends might be a bit too out there for customers. And their reliance on overseas manufacturing is causing serious delays. The odds of rebounding in 2023 are as slim as their trendy clothes. Kirkland's might need to redecorate their business strategy if they want to try to survive. Number 15. Express. Express is feeling the fashion backlash. This apparel retailer is facing criticism for its limited sizes and trendy-oriented clothing. With falling revenues and profits, 
Express is at the top of the list of struggling retailers. It's like their clothes are a few steps behind the latest trends, and customers are starting to notice. Express might need to find a new style to keep up with the fast-paced retail industry, or they'll be left on the clearance rack. And there you have it, folks, the grand finale of the Retail Comedy Show. I hope you enjoyed the wild ride through the ups and the downs of these struggling businesses that have been screwing us for years. Remember, laughter is the best medicine, even when it comes to retail disaster. So let's give a round of applause to Big Lots, Rite Aid, Bed Bath & Beyond, and all the other retailer misfits who provided us with endless entertainment. Now, go out there and support your favorite stores and local businesses before they become the punchline of the next retail joke. And always remember, when life gives you bankruptcies, just laugh it off and find the clearance rack of happiness. Thank you for so much for joining me on this video today. I hope everybody stays safe. You keep prepping. Till next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.